This payback for the heirs attack, the Obama campaign today posted on the web something it calls a documentary dredging up McCain's past as one of the so-called Keating Five. And there were five U.S. senators who leaned on federal regulators, this was back in the 80s, to go easy on a savings and loan operator named Charles Keating. He proceeded to steer his SNL into bankruptcy, and that ended up costing taxpayers $3.4 billion. Here's part of the Obama campaign's documentary. The voice you'll hear is that of William Black, who was a federal banking regulator involved in the Keating case. Take a look. Senator McCain knew the facts because we had briefed him. He knew this was a criminal enterprise. He knew that what was being done was improper. He knew how much undue political pressure, his words, or at least his words originally, was being brought to bear. He was uniquely in the position where he could have protested this and stopped it, stopped this loss, but he did nothing. And his statement is, once I figured out that Keating was not being abused, I no longer had any need to protect my constituent. But all the taxpayers of America were his constituents. We all ended up paying that $3.4 billion. We just never got it. So, Tom, what about it? Well, Campbell, that's part of a 13-minute video on the front page of the Obama website. The Keating Five scandal was the big financial debacle of its day, and John McCain faced serious accusations for his part in it. Charles Keating was an Arizona businessman who bought a savings and loan and then swindled investors out of hundreds of millions of dollars. It led to the biggest government bailout ever in the late 80s, and when it came out that five U.S. senators had received donations from Keating, federal investigators wanted to know if they interfered with government efforts to catch him. The first minute of this video suggests McCain was the linchpin of the whole operation. McCain is shown right before the word fraud. He alone is shown with Keating, although four other senators, all Democrats, were implicated. And the names of Enron, Bear Stearns, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac appear as if they, the Keating Five, and John McCain we're all bundled up in the same scandal. That is not true. McCain has generally opposed stringent regulation of business, and that has played a significant role in all these financial problems. It's certainly fair game for voters to be made aware of that. Fair enough, too, to say this affair raised serious questions about McCain's ethics and judgment. But to hint that he was criminally negligent in the case of the Keating Five is inaccurate. McCain was one of two senators who received the mildest criticism from congressional investigators in this case who said he showed poor judgment. McCain also had to pay for some trips to the Bahamas he took with Keating while he was a congressman. This is all serious stuff for sure, but McCain was never charged with fraud or any other crime, and this video, while getting some facts right, also exaggerates McCain's role in these events about 20 years ago. Campbell? We had plenty to work with today, Tom. We appreciate it. Tom Foreman for us, Tom.